the hook is attached to a cord which is wound around the drum. If it moves from the rest with an acceleration of 6 meters per second, uh, determine the angular acceleration of the drum and its angular velocity after the drum has completed 10 revolutions. How many more revolutions will the drum turn after it has first completed 10 revolutions and the hook continues to move downwards for 4 seconds? To answer this problem, we are going to, to draw the situation here. So this is basically uh, the drum. So I think it's installed this way. Okay, so this is the, how the drum is being installed. And then uh, we have the hook. So this is the hook. Okay, it goes downward. And then um, this is the radius, which is 0 0.6 meters. And then it goes down uh, A equals to 6 meter per second per second. So this is the, the clue that we have. So basically, this is the angular uh, so this is a tangential acceleration. So we have AT equals to alpha R. So we have um, we have the AT here and also we know the radius. So we're going to get the angular acceleration. So the angular acceleration is going to be, this is going to be 6. So this is going to be angular acceleration. This is going to be 0 0.6. So our angular acceleration will equal to 10, okay, since this is going to be 10, okay, so, uh, sorry, so this is alpha equals to 10 radian per second per second, okay, so what's next? Um, it says that, okay, we need to find uh, the final angular uh, velocity, uh, the final angular velocity, so we know that um, the revolution is 10 revolution so we have this uh, constant acceleration so it says that we have uh, 10 revolutions so, so it revolves 10 times okay so since it revol uh, revolves 10 times so we can know the distance the travel distance so this is theta okay equals to uh, 10 revolutions okay 10 revolutions times you are convert it to radius so 2 pi radius over 1 revolution so this is how we are going to convert the revolutions into uh, radians so we have 20 pi radians so this is theta equals to 20 pi radians um, and then so we are, we are going to use uh, the angular acceleration equations utilizing the uh, the uh, the angles okay the travel uh, path so this is uh, omega square okay equals to omega naught square plus two alpha constant and then this is theta minus the initial theta so in this problem we know that <coughs> the movement start from rest so this is going to be zero and also uh, this is going to be zero so we have all the clues here then uh, this is going to be omega squared this is 2 times a equals to 10 and then this is going to be 20 pi minus 0 so when we finish for omega we are going to get uh, 35.45 radian per second so this is we got the uh, angular velocity okay after 10 revolutions so next um, we need to find the angular displacement the angular displacement which is basically the theta after uh, completed uh, after four seconds okay after four seconds so we need to utilize the time so we have this equation for the angular displacement so we use uh, theta equals to the starting 
uh, angular position plus omega naught t uh, plus 1 over 2 alpha c t squared so we know um, we know the time okay so uh, the initial position is equals to zero so we know this already okay and then um, we know the the starting angular after four seconds the starting angular velocity this is going this is known okay and then um, uh, this is the time so time after four seconds so this is the time and then the constant acceleration we also know it so we just plug in all those values so we are going to get theta equals to zero plus omega t which is 35.45 35.45 times 4 seconds plus 1 over 2 this is 10 and then this is 4 seconds okay to the power of 2 so when, when we finish calculate this we are going to get uh, 2 to 1.79 seven nine radians okay you can stop here for the angular displacement but the question asks for how many numbers of revolutions so we need to convert these two revolutions so theta equals to 2 to 1.79 radians okay equals to one revolutions okay one revolution we have two pi two pi red by radians so when we finish for this we uh, get the information that the drum uh, revolve for another 35.3 revolutions so this is the answer